One of the things that I wanted to to point out though, and I'm gonna get it. I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna get in my like my health bag a little bit. Talk to me. Um, in the sickest COVID nineteen patients, read an article. Underlying issue, underlying conditions are common. Large study finds. People with obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure are at a greater risk for complications from the coronavirus. According to a large study of patients hospitalized with the illness it causes. I really, I was telling you this yesterday. If I really feel like in this instance, like there, there are people that I know and people that I've encountered that since this whole thing has started, they haven't left the house. Right. At all. Haven't had contact with people outside the house. And they have tested positive. I don't know how it's So I I've realized that if you are going to get it, you are going to get it. It may have been from a previous experience when you were outside earlier, but if you are going to get it, you are going to get it. However, the underlying issues that are stated in the article that we read are totally preventable, totally controllable. It is controllable for you to be obese or not. It is controllable for you to have type 2 diabetes or not. It is controllable for you to have high blood pressure or not. Get your shit together. <laughs> I'm I'm just saying this like and 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 I'm not talking from a, a a standpoint of being like the perfect person. I'm chugging a beer. My second one. And I'm probably going to have a third. These are all facts. But guess what and understand something like if you're not conscious of what you're putting in your body and how you're using your body, when you actually can control what you do to your body and how it moves and how it how it maneuvers, at the point in time when you need your body to fight for you, it won't. Yeah. If that's one thing I learned, man, like you're gonna catch it, you're gonna catch it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, like, you know what I mean? Like there's only so much you could do. But what you can do is the things that we're supposed to be doing, which is Watching what we eat, what we're putting into our body, make sure we take our vitamins. I know you, you're a big vitamin guy. Just Absolutely. Vitamins. They suck. They're gummy. They're the worst. They taste <laughs> so bad. But whatever. I'm, I'm here. I'm doing it. I'll probably take them when I get home. But you have to do your things. Your due diligence to make yourself, make sure that you're healthy. Make sure that you're fit. Excuse me. Go for a walk. Go for a run. Be active. Um, you know what I'm saying? So you keep the weight off. Like I looked at myself the other day. I was like, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, I went to go take a shower, right? And I was like, ew, 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 get the fuck out the bathroom. Go do some push-ups. You look crazy. I look nuts. I look nuts. And, and, it's, and it's not just coronavirus that would take you out if you're not taking care of your body or if you're obese or if you have high blood pressure or diabetes or anything like that. It could be anything. It could be a flu. It could be the common cold. Because when, you, when, when those are issues, your body is just susceptible to that. Your body is fighting so hard to pump air and blood through a body that's not taken care of that when it comes to infectious diseases, it can't fight it can't fight all of that. Right. It can't do all of that at the same time and keep you alive. And I think there's this misconception that to be healthy and to be fit, you need to run around with a six pack every day. Or you need to run around like it would be nice. Look at <laughs> Sure would be nice. Or you need to run Y'all around seen like Trevor's new yoga video? My new yoga video is tight. Definitely check that out. Where was his shirt? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who you who does yoga with a shirt on? Niggas with bellies. You know <laughs> we all know what's bad and what's not. Like we all know that For you sure. shouldn't have like Popeyes every day. We all know you shouldn't have McDonald's every day. Shy but bar. you shouldn't. Go ahead. <laughs> Shout. Out to, I'm, I've never been really a big takeout guy. Uh huh. But like obviously with this whole thing, it's just a lot easier to Uber Eats. Yeah. We Uber Eats Popeyes the other day. Uh huh. It was amazing. A three piece. Not saying it don't taste good. The three, not, not every day, but the three piece went crazy. Of course, and, and it tastes good, and it's sure, fast, the went crazy. and it's it's delicious, and all of that. Wow! But in the long run, if that is what your consistent lifestyle is, yeah. like it's going to reflect in your ability to fight off certain diseases and colds and flus. And I'm not a scientist; neither of us a scientist. Like, I there are people who are perfectly healthy who are dying who are dying from the coronavirus. So I'm not here to tell you that like if if you're if you're fat, you're doomed. Because there are people who are fit who are getting this, and they're getting and they're fucked up by it too, right? Right. But you got to put yourself like in a position to win all the time. And you do that by taking care of yourself, especially parents. Like if you're a parent and you're like, I don't have time to take care of myself. I don't have time to work out because of my kid. Guess who's guess what disservice you're doing? You're doing that disservice to your children because when you're old and obese and all these other underlying issues rise to the top, who has to take care of you? Who has to put their life on hold 
to take care of you. For sure. And I never want to be that parent that is like so incapable of taking care of myself that it compromises like the growth and the advancement of my kid. Yeah, we just need outside to open up back again. It so starts, but yeah, but that can't be the excuse also because you think about people who are in this position of like being obese and being like, you know, morbidly overweight. This didn't start a month ago or two months it ago with quarantine. With it, didn't start with it didn't start with that. You're right. So if your excuse for like not being able to do things or be active is because of this situation going on right now, like what was the excuse two months ago? Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to find a way to like to navigate this. And I know everybody wants to snack and do this and do that. And eat Snacking's shit. fire. Though. Snacking is dope. It's dope, but you gotta just you gotta be conscious of it, man. Like if if you're not conscious of what you're putting in your body, how you take care of yourself, there's nobody else that's responsible for that, but you as an individual. Thousand percent. And you give yourself the ability to like fight off infectious infectious diseases, common cold, flu, whatever like comes your way by taking care of your body. And if you don't take care of your body, like everybody says, your body will not take care of you. And it frustrates me when people who are who were in the position to be able to take care of their bodies, didn't, and now they're in a spot where they can't. Yeah. Because yeah. we all get to that spot where we can't. Like, I'm not going to be naive to think that I'm going to be 95 years old, like, bench pressing and squatting and doing what I would love to. You, you want to. I would love to. But I know that's not a, a, a feasible physical right, thing, right? Right, right, right. So I'm going to do what I can now. To make sure, at least when I'm that I age, set myself up. I'm functional. Yeah, I can yeah. walk up a flight of stairs. I can stand up on my own. Walking up a stairs. I can bend over and pick right over now, something off the floor. Right now, I'm walking up a flight of stairs. Right now, whack. walking up a flight of stairs. It's whack. Hurts. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna work on Josh. We're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna work on that. Yo, I am letting myself go. Fuck it, I said it. Whatever. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's like my little like soapbox. You know, soliloquy. Chef speech. don't want to see y'all cheating on yourselves, man. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. It's not about don't treat yourself. And it's not even and about don't like yourself. not even like being fat. Like if you're gonna be chubby, like some people are chubby all their life, but they never like cross that threshold of being like obese. Yeah. Or being like super no, overweight. You can't, you can't. You can't. You can't. I'm on that threshold, man. Because it just you're not you're not chubby. <laughs> Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm skinny fat. Skinny fat. <laughs> I'm skinny fat, but my body's weird. So, like, I'm going to go run, like, for the next week, and then I'll be slim again. This is how it go. But, yeah, you have that in you. You know that. Yeah, I know. I, you know oh, that I don't want to turn it on. Exactly. There are yeah, some people yeah. who don't. It goes years and years and years and years and years, and then they wake up one morning, and they're like, why can't I, why can't I like, get up out of bed? It creeps up on you. Why can't? Why can't I, like, you know, jog without... Like coughing that. up both of my lungs. Yeah, that. Oh, that's, so that shit is that shit. That's tough. When you, that shit is when serious. You, and you can't breathe. I'm like, <laughs> and then the proof and like like the proof is in the numbers. Like the people that are going to the hospital that are not recovering, they are suffering with obesity, type two diabetes, and high blood pressure. All things that are controllable. All things that are within your individual control. Yeah. So control it. Control it, folks. Absolutely. Absolutely.